Well, 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 2024 is getting off to an interesting start. And the reason why I say it's because uh, yesterday, Stephen A. Smith, he dropped the podcast. Now, I don't know if some of you have heard Jason Whitlock. He used to um, have a show called Speak for Yourself on um, FS1. Um, I think he was there for a couple of years. And then... Um, Joy Taylor, LaShawn McCoy, and some other, and Emmanuel Acho, they took over the show. But Jason Woodlock has been a guy that will just go after anybody. He'll attack people. He'll come after people. You know, he called Shannon Sharp a loser. He, you know, he's just, he goes after everybody, you know, to get his clicks and views. So Stephen A. Smith came on his podcast yesterday and he said some interesting things. Now, I can't play the audio because of YouTube copyright laws and everything like that. So you really can't get the audio. But I'm going to play some. Uh, I'm going to read you some quotes that he said. Now, the first one I'm going to read is this one. And I'm going to paraphrase it because I'm not going to curse on on here. But it says. While you were on Blaze TV spewing that BS to people, did you tell them to tell them that? Did you tell them how you stood outside a first take begging me to talk to you? Did you tell them that once that the same article in Deadspin came out, weeks later you wrote me a lengthy apology to me in an email begging me to forgive you, pointing out how you were betrayed by this particular writer, so you know how I must feel that you betrayed me. Did you tell the the folks that you be? Did you tell them that you fat piece of you, know, you? So Stephen A came in here firing, calling him the B word. First of all, you call me the B word. That's fighting words right there. You know, that, that's fighting words. You're you going to call me that? Oh, no, we're we going to rumble. You ain't going to call me that and get away with it. No, uh, we're we going to, uh, hey, I'm gonna meet, we gonna meet me outside. you going to disrespect me like that? Meet me outside. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Stephen A. Smith going on to say that you were a great writer. Your mistake was you started talking. And worse, wanting to be seen while you were talking, which is your why your quality and your value plummeted. Because when we see you and we listen to you, we know how worthless you are. Mm. Called him worthless, saying he wanted to be wanted to be heard and seen while talking. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Going again. I could not imagine, as a black man, knowing our history, anything worse than a white supremacist. Uh-oh. That is, until Jason Whitlock came along, he's worse than them. He is the dis worst, most despicable, no good, lying, fat human being I have ever known in my life. Wow. So Stephen A. Smith really went in on his podcast talking about Jason Woodlock. Um, he brought up a lot of other names, but he just, um, that was just a, a few expert excerpts on what he said in this podcast. I'll put the podcast in the description box if y'all want to see it. But this man just went in on Jason Woodlock, and, and, and nobody has ever heard Stephen A. Smith just go in like he did before, at to the point where he called the uh, past his pastor, he called the employees at ESPN, and he apologized for what he was going to say. But Jason Woodlock has been going at this for years. You know, he attacks people. Now I'm not going to call him worse than a white supremacist because <laughs> you know how that is. He, I'm not going to go that far because nothing can be worse than a white supremacist. I know what Jason is. He's a white supremacist and black face. And you can make that argument. 
you know, if somebody calls you the N-word, a black person the N-word, he'll say, well, that doesn't affect you. Uh, why are you are affected by somebody calling you the N-word? Let them call you the N-word. I don't think that's racist because you have money. And when he said this, he said racism only affects poor people. That is the most dumbest take I've ever, ever seen in my life. That is the most ridiculous take I've ever heard in my life. Racism has no money. Either they don't like you because you're black. They don't like you. They don't care how much money you make. They don't care. You get called the N-word just because you're black. But I've seen Jason Woodlock. He went at it with Chris Broussard on his show saying, oh, there's, no, there's, there's, there's LeBron James. But Jason Woodlock is an idiot. Jason Woodlock is a moron. He is clueless. He is a fool. And he should not be taken seriously. He should not be giving him a thought. But I will tell you this. If Jason Woodlock will question my writing, will question what I wrote in a book, saying the stuff is fabricated, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tweet out one with you one time. And I'm going to say, Jason, I haven't said your name. I haven't bothered you. I haven't said anything about you. I don't bother nobody. I don't harm nobody. I don't disrespect nobody. But if you ever... But you better leave me alone. And you better leave me alone right now. Because if you don't, me and you are going to have a problem. And at that point, I'm done talking. See, I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth and make shows about you. I'm going to confront the problem. And that's all I'm going, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm confronting the problem. Like, yo, what's up? You got all this stuff to spew out. What? What's up? See, sometimes I, I, I stop talking. You better leave me alone. Because you're not going to like what's going to happen next. Stephen A. Smith, I guess he had enough. And I don't know how Jason Woodlock is going to respond. Um, he's responded a lot on Twitter. So I'm going to keep you updated on this story. And I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to dedicate some of these shows to Jason Woodlock because I want to see what he has to say. Is he going to back down or is he going to continue to talk about Stephen A. Smith? Or is he going to pull a, a punk move? Is he going to sue him for um, assassination of character? I Like I said, we don't know. We don't know, but Jason Whitlock got punked out by screaming Stephen A. Smith. Now, do I agree with everything Stephen A. Smith says? No. Stephen A. Smith is an accomplished journalist, and he knows mostly what he's talking about. Yeah, some of his takes are wildly un like no one, you're not going to agree with everything, but Whitlock got punked in this sense. And Stephen A. Smith went on to say, I hate and despise that man. Man. That's a feeling that you hate somebody. You really want to do some harm to them. In my opinion. That's what I think. So let's see how far this go. I'm going to keep you updated with this. Oh, man. I'm going to run with this story. And I'm going to show you what uh, I'm going to go back, make videos uh, to see what Jason Whitlock said on his show. Oh, man, Jason Whitlock is getting dragged, and I'm here for it. Uh, make sure you, um, this is not a Philly sports podcast, but um, make sure you um, like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace.